Hi guys, do you want to make this cool text animation? He said it was a disappointment. Let's start by creating a composition. You can use my settings. Create your text. On the right side in Characters tab, I use these settings for 1080p edits. You can use mine or use yours. Click inside the scene, this will make the text layer and you can type anything you want. Make the text font size smaller as we will be adding red border behind the text. In the Align tab, press the horizontal and vertical alignment. This will center the text in composition. And turn off italic for text. Hold Rectangle Tool or press Q and select the Rounded Rectangle Tool. Here our Rectangle Tool, fill and stroke parameters. Draw over the text so it fully covers it. Drag the shape layer under the text. Click on the shape layer and align it to middle. Now select both layers and pre-compose them. Click on the pre-comp layer and select the pen tool or press G. Click just like I did. This will make a mask that we will use to make breaking effect. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer and then press M key on the duplicate layer and invert the mask of that layer. Now we will create breaking animation. We will be adding position and rotation keyframes by pressing P or R to open those parameters. Create keyframes for position and rotation. Go with 30 to 50 frames forward and change values for position and rotation. Position value by 20 and rotation by 5 or 6, just like me. Select the newly created keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now select the last keyframes and open Graph Editor. Adjust the sliders like I do. After we are done, you can move the keyframes back or forward. I'm moving it back to make room, scaling it onto the screen as a pop-up. Now select both layers and pre-compose them. Create keyframes for opacity by pressing T. After you easy ease it, you can adjust it according to your liking. And here is the graph for opacity keyframes. Search for S underscore shake inside effects tab. Drag and drop the effect on the pre-comp layer. Create a keyframe for amplitude set amount to zero. Go forward and make another keyframe for amplitude. This time set the amount to 0.07. Make sure to set the amplitude amount to zero on the first keyframe. Go few frames forward and set the amplitude amount to zero again for the last keyframe. Select the newly created keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Also set the frequency to 4 and shake effect controls. Now will be a good time to tell you to adjust your keyframes to your liking. You can stretch with Alt plus click and drag or simply move them around. It's up to you. Create scale and rotation keyframes at the start. Set the amount to 0 for both parameters. Set rotation value to 15 at start, but leave scale to 0 for both. Go forward a second in few frames, then make keyframes for both. Scale value to 100 and rotation value to 0. Select the newly created keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now select the last keyframes and open Graph Editor. Adjust the sliders like I do. After we are done, you can add deep glow and this should be the final result. If you want any other tutorial, comment down below. Also, if you enjoyed this one, like this video. Thanks for watching.